It's great to have you all back with us, Kingdom Kids. I hope you're ready to learn and have fun. Because today, we're going to learn about how God protects us. I'm ready. Are you? Let's go. Holy Spirit, you're all around us. You're the friend within to those who ask you. Has God told you that somewhere before? God, your word says the Holy Spirit will lead us into all truth. John chapter 16, verse 13. Let's pray. Let's pray that together right now. Are you ready to join in? Yes. Say the prayer on the screen along with me. Are you ready? Holy Spirit, I ask you to reveal to me today something new from your word. Reveal it, I pray. May I know more of you, God, and your ways. I'm hungry to know more. Feed me. Do it, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Today our cable tie comes from Isaiah 54, 17. Let's read. No weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue which rises against you in judgment you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. When we trust in God, when we obey him as children of God, this is his promise to us, that he will protect us, that nothing that is formed against us, any weapon, anything that people speak over us that is against us, it will not prosper. This is our promise from God. To help me remember this, 
I have made a poster so I can put up on the wall, so I can remember this promise that God has made to me. Now, I've made a lovely poster and I've put the words of God's promise all around the edge. And in the middle, in that circle, I'm gonna put some weapons. And I've got some glue, we're gonna stick them down. I've got a sword, let's stick the sword down. There we go, there's the sword. I've got an axe, let's stick the axe down. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. And I've got a fist. Sometimes people come at us with their hands to hurt us. Yeah, put their hands against things that are gonna hurt us. There's a fist. And then I've got a mouth. People speak things against us and nothing they, will say, they say will prosper because God will protect us. So let's put that there. And then I'm gonna put a big red line through the middle of the circle because none of those weapons that formed against us shall prosper. Let's put a big red line through the middle. There we go. All finished, can you see? Let's read it together. No weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue which rises against you in judgment you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servant of the Lord, and their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. Isaiah 54 verse 17. This is a promise to all of God's children that he has made. Amen. Today's power comes from 1 Samuel chapter 19, 1 to 7, and it says, Saul told his son Jonathan and all the attendants to kill David. But Jonathan was very fond of David and warned him, My father Saul is looking for a chance to kill you. Be on your guard tomorrow morning. Go into hiding and stay there. I will go out and stand with my father in the field where you are. I'll speak to him about you and will tell you what I find out. Jonathan spoke a well of David to Saul, his father, and said to him, Let not the king do wrong to his servant David. He has not wronged you, and what he has done has benefited you greatly. He took his life in his hands when he killed the Philistine. The Lord won a great victory for all Israel, and you saw it and were glad. Why then would you do wrong to an innocent man like David by killing him for no reason? Saul listened to Jonathan and took this oath. As surely as the Lord lives, David will not be put to death. So Jonathan called David and told him the whole conversation. He brought him to Saul and David was with Saul as before. What time is it? Plugged in. 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 Are you ready for your first game? Yes! This game is Kingdom Catch. The aim of the game is to catch as many sharks or ducks as you can. Are you ready? Yes! Your one minute starts now. Come on, Kingdom Kids! Oh, 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 okay. Oh! Well done, 1982. You're doing so well. Oh. Oh. I can't say it. Oh. 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 Oh.
Can the kids fight for who you you got a little snafu? Can the kids vote for who you think is gonna win? Yay, we got one kid of kids. Let's go. Hey, we did it, kid of kids. Woo! Yeah. Come on, 1982. Oh, this is a tricky one, isn't it? Five, Yay. four, three, two, one. Nope. Your time is up. <laughs> This week's power continues from 1 Samuel chapter 19, verse 8 to 16. Once more war broke out, and David went out and fought the Philistines. He struck them with such force that they fled before him. But an evil spirit from the Lord came upon Saul as he was sitting in his house with his spear in his hand. While David was playing the harp, Saul tried to pin him to the wall with his spear, but David eluded him as Saul drove the spear into the wall. That night, David made good his escape. Saul sent men to David's house to watch it and to kill him in the morning. But Michal, David's wife, warned him, if you don't run for your life tonight, tomorrow you'll be killed. So Michal let David down through a window and he fled and escaped. Then Michal took an idol and laid it on the bed, covering it with a garment and putting some goat's hair at the head. When Saul sent the men to capture David, Michal said, he is ill. Then Saul sent the men back to see David and told them, bring him up to me in his bed so that I may kill him. But when the men entered, there was the idol in the bed and at the head was some goat's hair. Today, we're looking at how God protects his children. Do you feel sometimes that you are appointed or promoted to a position that you're not yet ready for? And so you had to run away and take time out. Well, there was someone in the Bible who was anointed to be king in the place of King Saul who went through such a situation, and his name is David. Let us see how David dealt with this. When King Saul became aware that David was to be the next king, he became jealous of David because of the success David was having. And so Saul set out to kill David. So David had to run away from the presence of Saul. David had many opportunities when he could have killed Saul, but he did not want to harm Saul because he feared God and he knew that he was God anointed. Every time Saul made attempts to destroy David, God was providing protection for him and God is with us, and He is providing protection for us all the time. Saul set many traps for David. God continued to provide protection for David through different people, such as David's wife, Jonathan, his best friend, and many others. God will always protect His people because He said, he will never leave us or forsake us, and you can count on him. David knew he was anointed to be king, and so he was willing to wait in God's timing. God has a purpose for every one of us, but it will only happen in his timing. Therefore, 
we must learn to wait on God. Running ahead of what God has for us will only lead to destruction. We are reminded that it is not by might or by power, but it is by His Spirit. God does not need our help. When we allow God to direct our path, we can never go wrong. Whatever our circumstances are, He is our protector. And He will always protect us. He said, no weapon formed against us will prosper. We will need to trust and obey God. David trusted God and obeyed His words and God's purpose for his life was fulfilled. God has a plan and a purpose for your life so you can trust him to protect you all the way. And so I would suggest that we come together and pray and ask God to help us to trust him and that we should wait on him in all circumstances because he will never fail us. He will protect us. It's time to say thank you to God for the things that he's shown us and taught us today. It's been a feast. It's good to give thanks to God in prayer. Are you ready to join in? Say the prayer on the screen along with me. Are you ready? Here we go. Thank you, Lord, for my meal today. Mm, thank you, Lord God. We've been able to meet and eat together. Your promise is that you will feed me because I'm hungry for you. Help me to remember what you said today. I don't want to forget that you have a purpose for me and that you protect me. May I find that purpose and be happy and content in all that you have for me. Your word says, blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Matthew 5 verse 6. Let it happen to me according to your word at just the right time. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God, I look to you. I won't be overwhelmed. Give me
that we can look to you for everything. Heavenly Father, thank you for being our protector. Heavenly Father, help us to trust and obey you in everything we do. In God's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, 1982, are you ready for your second game? Yes. yes! This game is Kingdom Splash. The aim of the game is to ask each other questions, and if the person gets it wrong, you splash them with water. Are you ready? Yes! <laughs> Go! <laughs> what was King David's job before he became king? Help me out, Kingdom Kids. Do you remember? 82. That's a lot of hesitation. Yes, I know. <laughs> You're oh. <laughs> The answer was Shepherd. Very good. We'll get the next one, won't we? Why didn't David harm King Saul? Come on, 19. Come on, 19. 19, that's um, a... 19. That was said, you shut up. <laughs> you? What was the that, answer? That, yeah, but you took too long. I was like, <laughs> what was the answer? He was correct because God, he feared God. He feared God. 19, it's your go. Who was the king before David? Come on, 82. Oh. 82, that's a lot of hesitation. <laughs> <laughs> what was the answer? Soul. <laughs> I was going to say that kind of kiss, I need a new birthday. 82, it's your go. <laughs> David, marry. <laughs> yeah, she no. no. Gosh. Is there any more questions? Well, one more. <laughs> what instrument did David use to play for Saul when Saul was angry? angry. It was, oh, I know this! Oh, lip, lip, oh. oh, I know the name of it. I'm trying to say it properly. Come on, 82! Lip, 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 lip. I can't say it. Come on! I can't. <laughs> <laughs> what was the answer? Uh huh. Instrument can well, that's all Lovely. for this game. Well, so one more. When we talk about God, what does He look at? Uh -huh. Okay, you got that one. Kids. Well but just done, for fun, them, kids. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Kinder Kids, you decide who won. 19. We had loads of fun today, didn't we, Kinder Kids? Yes! Why don't you try these challenges at home with your family? Have a little fun and get a little work with the whole family. 
I've been 19. And I'm 82. And, and we're, we're out. out. We learned a lot together, didn't we, Kingdom Kids? We learned no matter the situation, God will always protect us. And how David didn't want to harm King Saul because he feared God. We also learned we shouldn't force God's hand, that we should always trust in Him. And when He says the timing is right, the timing is right. So we should always be patient. Thank you for joining me, Kingdom Kids. I'll see you soon. Bye.